Hello, everybody. Welcome to the game of the century. The game between the Panthers of Dudley High School and the Eagles of Smith High School. This is going to be an outstanding game this season. These two teams have met before this season with Dudley winning the little fourth tournament and coming from behind with a minute and a half left with this hit hitting on three, two, three pointers back to back to bring his Panthers back. And every time the Panthers need something to go, they call on this win. He is an outstanding performer and has been called one of the better players to lead Greece to beat the playing Greece for since Danny Manning. I'm Spencer Gwynn. Along with me this evening is Chuck Daniels. Chuck, it's an, he's an outstanding player and we have some outstanding players on the court this evening and we have a jam house here at Dudley High School's gym. Absolutely, Spencer. I couldn't agree with you more. Panther Jim is rocking and rolling. There's a lot of electricity in the air tonight. All in anticipation, as you said, one of the year's top games featuring the Dudley Panthers at Smith High School. As you said, tonight's game features one of the state's top players, Vincent Witt. And tonight, Vincent Witt is reunited with, or shall I say against, his best friend, Jamal Barney of Smith. Of Smith. Witt, small in weight, but big in game. I had the pleasure of seeing this young man in action over the Christmas holiday in a little more. And I got to agree with you, he's something special. Great poise, good court vision, and an all-around court general. Now, he's an outstanding performer, man, and I guarantee that you are in for a treat this evening. We just heard the buzzer go off, and we'll be ready to start playing here at Dudley High School in just a moment. Starting lineups are being introduced down on the floor. The starting lineup is Clayton Ingram, and 23 is T.J. Woods, and we'll pick it up on the public address system. Number 40, Bobby Webster. Number 11, Bobby Robbie Fenders. And number 12, Jamal Burley. Chuck, we're all set. The uh, starting lineups have been introduced down on the floor. And of course, you heard that big ovation that it was given to Vincent Witt. But uh, they've got some outstanding players at uh, Smith High School as well. Dudley High School is ranked number one in the state. Smith is ranked number two, 10 in the state. Smith's record is 13 and 2, and Dudley is 15 and 0. Undefeated to this point, but I promise you, these teams never play a game where they are not nip and tuck all the way, and especially at the end, all games in the last several years have been very close, close to contested at the end. I caught the game last year on TV. Glad to be here in person tonight. Three-pointer. Well, you start the game off with a three-pointer. Correction, two-pointer. Well, they finally corrected that. Spencer, but, I don't think they can squeeze another body in this gym tonight. What do you think? Well, I tell you, it's, it's really good to see high school basketball first and again in the city. Two city teams that are going to have. Oh, it's 
snapped out of bounds by Whit, and the ball will be put in play under the basket by Robbie Saunders for Smith High School. Teams don't seem to be too nervous for a game of this magnitude. The shot's up, no good. Rebounded by Hayward. The rebound. They tried a raw pass under the basket to Braxton Williams. He couldn't handle it. And now it's passed down to it. Right now, Chuck, I think they'll look, both teams are a little tight. I thought earlier they didn't look nervous, but after that last pass, I think I have to take my take back this team. Okay, the only bucket of the game belongs to Vincent Witt. He scored the first time the Panthers touched the ball. They lead two to nothing. Pass the ball around the perimeter. Good movement. Contact by Robbie Saunders. Dundee seems to be very patient. That was a partial block. And Smith comes up with the ball. A nice fake. The ball is up. No good. Rebounded by Smith under the basket. That's no good. And Smith keeps hitting the offensive board, and that's no good. And they get it back for a fourth time. This time, Paxton Williams to bail. Pulling the rebound down and snapping it down court real quick to Vincent Witt, who gets it under the basket. Up the good! underneath on both sides of the court. Shots taken by Robbie Sanders. No good. Definitely has the rebound. Working it down on the right side. You know, I don't think this uh, Smith team is uh, intimidated by the number one ranking of the Panthers tonight. Oh, that was a three. That's Vincent Witt. He just throws it up with ridiculous lead. Ugly shot, but it counts. Seven to nothing with five minutes and 45 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Robbie Saunders close to guard. He gets it down low and a little traveling. A little traveling music, if you please. <laughs> Well, I think Reggie Peace has made a wise decision to take a time out here because this team is cold from the floor. The Panthers leading 7 to nothing with 5 minutes and 38 seconds remaining in the first quarter. We'll continue in a moment. And we're back. Dudley High School Gym. 538. Okay, the Panthers on the attack once again. Working the ball down the right side. Got it over to Braxton Williams. Looks for a screen from the big man, and he drives the baseline. Almost had it slapped away. Coming down with a big rebound for Smith. It's Clayborn Ingram. Then they play tight defense. Shots taken. Good! Smith's first pass is coming with five minutes and a second remaining in the first quarter. Seven to two. Nice law pass on the right side to Braxton. Braxton pops it out to Parti. Price works it down the right side, being close to guard it there. Takes his pivot, finds the man on the outside. And traveling. That's the referee saw something in that time. I thought he kept that pivot foot still. It looked that way to me, too. I certainly agree with that. Well, it's better to be here than down there with that striped shirt. Especially in a game like this. That's right. Shots up and it's good. That's Keith Urban on the basket. That's his first field goal. And it's 7-4. to four. The Pandas leading by three. Extra curricular activity there on that pick. Well, these two teams know each other very well, Chuck, and they'll, it'll be like this all evening long. Well, it looks like the referees are going to let them play, so that's one good thing. Well, they're great players oh, off the court. Shot was taken that time by Vincent, and a whistle under the basket. Foul on number double zero, Haywood Hitchburg. So we've got the first foul of the game, the first on uh, Haywood, and the first on the team. Would you classify this as a rivalry? 
And absolutely. This is one of the top rivals in the city now. We have uh, Dunley and Page, but this one in basketball rivals that this year, especially. Back to the Ingram. Ingram threw up a nice one. This is what works across the court. He does everything so effortless. Works the left side, pulls out. I thought he was going to shoot the three, but hooked the pass oh, under the basket. Very good. And the shot by Braxton is good. Braxton Williams. Effortless is a good adjective to describe that young man. Robbie Saunders working the right side. He lobs the pass under and almost saved. A good effort by Dirk Parti. Saunders will put the ball in play. He looks for the screen, can't find it, gets it back on the outside. Again, he tries to lob it low to Webster. Webster can't find a way to get to the basket. And the ball was snapped out of bounds by the Panthers. I'm sure the uh, Eagles thought they should have had a foul on that. Smith got away with that one because that was definitely out of bounds on Smith. It feels Smith foul. Marvin Webster. Any connection there, with Marvin Webster? Or? Marvin Webster was uh, he's, his dad played basketball at Morgan State. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Was he? Yes, Kendall? that's his son. Shots up and good. A nice turnaround jumper by John Clark. Baxter Williams tried to work it on the inside. To Haywood, but the pass with Errett and Robbie Saunders will bring it down court for the Eagles. Two minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Dudley with the single point lead at 9 8. Nice pass by Robbie Saunders. Israel, man. When you talk about Robbie Saunders, his dad, uh, Bob Saunders, played basketball for North Carolina NT State University and was the principal at uh, Jackson and Dudley High School before he retired. Aggie Pride. Aggie Pride. Shots up no good. Rebounded by Haywood. Haywood shots no good, but he'll pick up a foul. Smith at one time down 7-2 has done a good job to come back in. Take the lead by one. Now the announcer said it was on Ingram, but I believe it was on Robin Webster. Foul on Webster. Correction. Foul on Webster at the line for two Haywood. Good night. So Haywood will go to the line and he'll shoot uh, two. The first thing is good. Ten. 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 This is a little strong to the right side, but a strong rebound and a whistle. Foul on number 50. Ten to ten is our score. Two fifteen remaining in the first quarter, and a very important game for both teams. Shots taken, no good. Rebounded by Braxton Williams. Excuse me, Brendan Haywood. Working on the right side. Braxton has it. He makes a quick move towards the basket. Wanted to go, but was cut off on a good defensive effort. Swift holding the ball. Trying to wait for a screen. Think he'd like to throw up a three. He gets it off the ground. Yeah! There he is again. That's seven points. A hit on uh, two three-pointers and a deuce. Eight points in the game for him. Shots taken at the lane. No good. Rebounded by the Panthers. Had a stolen away. Shots back up. No good. Rebounded again by Smith. And this one is good. Basket by B.J. Johnson. 13 to 12. That way. Working down the right side. And making a big move to the basket. Oh, what a slick move by Braxton Williams. Just the back of the game. He sliced that cheese that time to get to the basket. 15 to 12. And a Metro 4A game. 
Robbie put a knee guard, got his shot up, but missed. He didn't draw on, and the Eagles nearly lost it out of bounds, but retained it. And they'll put the ball in play on the side court. It's a good move. Number 33, Donnie Sanders. Number 43, Donnie Sanders. Derek Hickson to the ladder. 22 seconds remaining in the first quarter. A packed house at Dudley High School gym. Capacity 1,500, and every inch of space has been taken here this evening. The number one team in the nation is the host team here this evening, hosting the number 10 team, excuse me, the number one team in the state, hosting the number 10 team in the state, and that's a very fine matchup. 15 to 12, three points separating these two fine teams. And I believe Smith has elected to perhaps go for the last shot of the quarter. Now the Panthers put a bit of pressure on him. Nice drive under the basket, no good. Rebounded by the Panthers. Shot off the glass, no good. At the end of one, the Panthers 15. At the end of the first quarter, the score, the Panthers 15, the Eagles 12. The we'll return in a moment. Hey, Bill, who is 50? Put the ball in play. Robbie Saunders will bring it up court. Robbie looking down inside the paint, finds a man, and they do a great uh, job. Uh, and, uh, excellent teamwork. And they put the ball down to DJ Woods, TJ Woods. Long pass down court to Whit. Whit takes the jump up. Yeah! Uh, he is absolutely smooth. Unconscious tonight. Three threes in a row. 18 to 14. 18 to 14 is our score. They get the ball down low this time. Dudley Webster, Webster couldn't handle it, and it'll be Dudley's ball. Jermaine Price in the backcourt, bring it up for the Panthers. Being challenged by Saunders, gets it over on the left side to Witt. Witt just seems to toy with people before it makes up his mind to shoot. He pumps another one, but this time it's a bit short, and Smith has the pass break. Good move, good patience on the line by T.J. Woods. He has six points for the Eagles, and it's 18 to 16. Down in the corner, another three on the way. No good. That's got to be careful. Came out wrong. Number 23. Degrees. Into the lineup for the Panthers, replacing Hicks. Smith doing a good job keeping him outside on the perimeter. That's got to be frustrating when you uh, guard a man like uh, Smith. Back into the lineup, Braxton Williams. He gives no indication that he's going to shoot it, and then all of a sudden, this is a three shot attempt. He's draining the three. Brendan Haywood gets a rest now. He'll come to the sideline and talk to Coach uh, Price. He comes back in the game, they need to work it down low to, to loosen things up a little bit more on the outside for Witt. Well, Vincent Witt showed that he's here when he missed the free throw. Maybe he needed somebody to guard him that time, Chuck. <laughs> Put a hand in his face and make it. Maybe the key to stop it. That's that's good. Good. Don't guard him. Hey, no, interestingly yeah. enough, though, he was shooting a three when he was fouled. So what do you get? You get three free throws. What's that high school rule? All the way. That's good. That's good. 16. That was the best the It's the same thing in college. The Panthers' lead is four at 20 to 16. Robbie Saunders had the pass on the way, and he has it from him, and he wanted to jam it, but he couldn't. The crowd was ready for showtime that time. Jamal Bernie said he might score, but not that time. Not a showboat. Right. Not gonna let that one come easy. Most kind of free uh, shots can the house down and raise team morale in a heartbeat. I agree with you 100%. I was just gonna say that. 
That was a good foul that time. Two shots. Okay, Marshall Jam two. could have been a demoralizer. He is two of four from the free throw line. He's got to settle down a little bit. Takes a call. They missed two in a row. Got to take a little more time on that call. Six minutes and 23 seconds remaining in the half. 20 to 16. Nice lob pass underneath. Nice touch under the bucket. Raymond Ingram. Picking up his corner of the game. Price down the right side. He pumps it back out, gets it back. Over the right side. Nice shot. No good. He had a good look at the basket, but it just couldn't execute. That was Dirk Carty. DJ Woods and Robbie Saunders in the backcourt for the Eagles of Smith High School. Working down the right side. Bernie pulls up, takes the jumper. He was fouled and it's good. And one. So Bernie will have an opportunity here to convert the three points. Well, Spencer, I have to say again, this Smith team is certainly not intimidated by that number one ranking of the W Panthers. Now, as we pointed out at the outset of the uh, program this evening, uh, Chuck, these two teams know each other very well, and they play That's some good, good basketball against each other. 20, the Eagles. 21 to 20. Long pass down court. Jumpers up. No good. Rebounded by the Panthers. Tried to throw it back out, but couldn't find anybody. And coming up with the ball is Smith. That was Jamal Bernie. Almost fell, but maintained the dribble. 21 to 20. Smith has the lead. They've got the basketball. Ball almost lost. Smith momentarily has taken the crowd out of the game. Under the basket. Nice shot by T.J. Woods. Eight points for T.J. on the other side. And a block by Marvin Webster, but a whistle had blown for the block. Number Richard, number this Smith team is fired up. Coach Reggie Peace using this bench very effectively Please here in the first half. Uh, leading 23 to 20. The Panthers' lead, biggest lead was four. This has been Smith's biggest lead at three. Five minutes and ten seconds remaining in the first half. And Dudley is absolutely cold from the free throw line. That's Baxter Williams missing. It's a good point you made about Smith's coach using the bench wisely. Game this emotional. You spin yourself real quick. And this one is good. 23-21, the Eagles. The Eagles by two at 23-21. to 21. Nice pass under the bucket of whistle. Personal foul. Foul on number four of Matthew Quartey. picks up the personal foul. That's going to put the Eagles on the line. On the line will be Clavon Ingram. This will be his first well, it's not one and one yet. So Smith has the ball on the inbounds. Shots taken, no good. Nice rebound by Watson. Watson nearly lost throw. Got it down on the, in the baseline. And I'll tell you, man, that's first and ten. These kids are really hustling for both teams. A lot of scrap awesome. Coaches love to see their players get on the floor like that. Two well-coached teams, number one and number ten, in the state of North Carolina in the Division 4A. Robbie Saunders drives. And he's going to be charged with traveling. I see a lot of slipping going on the floor right now. They need to do something about that at the next break. Okay, Vincent Witt will bring it up from the backcourt with 6-6. Six, six. Has had a great year. He's averaging 22 points a game. Pops it over the right side. 
The Panthers with good ball movement, trailing by two. They got the adjustment they needed, and the shot good. The rainbow. Williams now has six points. Good ball movement by the Panthers that time. Robbie works him on the right side, picks up a screen. And then they thought to lose the ball back to this is Witt. Witt makes a nice pass, and the shot blocked and foul on Robbie Saunders. That's something I noticed about Witt that time. He didn't just steal the ball like a pool player setting himself up for a good uh, shot. He Thompson kicked the ball forward down the court. Into the lap of the Panthers. Right. Rather than knocking it out of bounds, it's good and smart hands on play by Witt that time. Absolutely. Herman. <laughs> That's going to put <laughs> Braxton Williams on the line. Williams is one of two from the line. And he's now two of three. You know, Spencer, we haven't seen uh, both teams go to the big men much this, so far, uh, thus far in this game. They pretty much kept them out of it, haven't they? They sure have. The second shot is up and no good. Another missed free throw by the Panthers. Rebound England. England came off with the rebound. Shot from the free throw line. Good. That's Bobby Webster's first pass. And just as he talked about the big men, Chuck, they came back. Three pointer, no good. Kicked off by Ingram. Thunder's having a real hard time standing up, and he loads one down the lane. No good, but his teammate did draw the foul. A great play that time by Robbie Saunders. For some reason, Robbie's having a little difficulty making it. Uh, you see a lot of players slip and slide. If you, if you notice, you see a lot of uh, wiping the bottom of the shoes with their hands. Indication that they're playing on the ice out there. That's the 15 foul. That's going to put uh, the Eagles on the line. We'll be shooting two. Shot no good. Webster has a good shooting touch there. I think that's going to be one of the keys of the game, the big man establishing their game in this contest. I think you're absolutely right. They're going to have to exert themselves a bit more. Both free throws miss. And the rebound uh, uh, by the Panthers. That is ball. Up on the right side to Price. Price works it down the right side. Shots taken, no good. Rebound fought for. And controlled by the Eagles, leading 25 to 24. The fast break back is good. Herman. Keith Herman. 27 to 24. The Eagles. Eagles match their biggest lead at three. 27 to 24. Two minutes and 20, 53 seconds remaining in the ball in the first half. Dudley very patient at the moment. Works it on the right side. Shots up. Oh, that's good. That's a three by... Three point. Put it down. Lee, that was twice. That was good. Shots no good. Controlled by the Panthers. Down to hit. One on one. He has a man. He made a move. And the pass is good. Show time. Oh, he just made a move and left his man standing in the dust. Which way did it go? Which way did it 27, go? 29-27, the Panthers now have regained the lead by two. The lead has seesawed back and forth throughout here, throughout the first half, especially here in the second quarter. Cut around jump is no good. Three Panthers go for the rebound. And do they clear it? No, it's going to be a jump ball. Jump ball, it belongs to the Panthers. The possession arrow favors the Panthers, and they'll put the ball in play. Jermaine Price walks it across the timeline. A minute, 46 seconds remaining in the first half. As the three on the way, no good. By Whit, rebound under the basket, no good. And it's up again, no good. And it's tough under the boards. And coming out with a strong rebound was Clay Barnes. Uh, 
But Ingram got busted in the mouth, I believe, Chuck. Yeah, he did get busted in the mouth after a good second and third effort. Ingram has it on the outside. Nice pass under the bucket, but snapped away by Partee. But the Eagles regained the ball and puts it up in the air. Wow. Sean Clark. This contest is nip and tuck. 29 all. 29 all. That's the way all the games have been played over the past two years. Both teams bending a little bit, but not breaking. Baxter Williams just threw up a three. 20, 58 seconds remaining in the first half. Dudley now leads by three. Dudley will put a bit of full foot pressure on uh, the Eagles now as they will challenge them in the backcourt. Basketball. Well, they broke that one rather easily. Nice pass down the left side to Herbert. Swiss been doing a good job of breaking the press thus far in the game. Robbie Sanders gets away momentarily, goes in for the layup. The left handed layup by Robbie. The ball was in the when he kept his ball to the end up with two. That brought the lead back to one. 32 31. Vincent Witt looking at the clock. The clock ticks down with 28 seconds. He makes a move to the bucket and is fouled. Oh, wow. They don't come easy down the middle, do they, Spencer? Not at all. Number, Number 30, Clark, Pittsburgh. I'm not sure who that particular foul was on, uh, Chuck, but the shot's no good, and Smith it's quickly on the attack. Robbie Saunders at the top of the key. Makes a big move. Finds the man under the bucket. Great dribble penetration by Robbie Saunders. Shots taken on the other side. No good. And time has expired. The fifth leading at the half. 33 to 32. Here you go. And an exciting first half of play, and it's just as was expected, and these teams have not let anybody down. Absolutely. Price of this ticket was well worth it, and then some. I'll tell you, those two quarters went by so fast, it's almost hard to believe this halftime already. Well, it was an exciting first half, and the ball was moving, and we got a lot of good play, a lot of team effort out there on the floor, and that's why both teams are ranked in the state. We'll continue here at... Uh, Dudley High School Stadium in a moment. Staff unofficially for Smith High School. Robbie Saunders had one field goal for two points. Jamal Bernie. Had one field goal and one from the line is three. Uh, Keith Herbin had two field goals for four points. T.J. Woods had uh, four field goals and one three throw for nine points. D.J. Johnson had uh, one field goal and two free for two points. Sean Clark, three points, three field goals, six points. Clayvon Ingram, three field goals for six points. And Marvin Webster had one field goal for two points. And he's one of the big men uh, premier big men that we were talking about uh, he and Brendan Haywood and uh, they pretty much nullified each other because Brendan Haywood only has uh, one point and that's one or two from the free throw line the scoring load has gone to Braxton Williams who has 11 points on three uh, three from the field and one three pointer and two or four from the free throw line for 11 Jermaine Price has a three this is which has three threes and two other field goals and two or five from the free throw line for 14 points. And Marcus Watson has two. So overall, the Panthers have pretty much relied on the scoring of uh, Braxton Williams and uh, that's the win. On the other hand, Smith High School has more of a team scoring effort here. And uh, that perhaps might have a, a play in the second half. Right. Good balance attack. Looking for the part of Smith. 
And getting back to the big man, that one field goal that Marvin Webster did have came from outside of the foul line. So both teams have a tough time getting that ball down low. Okay, the teams are back out on the court. And we're ready for another half of exciting basketball. 33 to 32, Smith with a halftime lead. Dudley led at the end of the first quarter by three, 15 to 12. Smith will take, put the ball in play from midcourt. Leading by a single point. Okay, here we go. Robbie Saunders working the ball up around Price, down on the right side. He finds open man down low. He turns it down and pops it. Clayvon Ingram. The lead has been extended to three at 35-32. Nice move under the basket. Shots no good. Marvin Webster picked up the foul that time. That's only his second. Team first. That will put uh, Derek Parti at the line for the Panthers. He'll be shooting two. His first shot is good. As I said earlier, both of these teams need to take advantage of their opportunities from the foul line. It's kind of been a yo-yo game up and down for both teams. Throwing some of those missed foul shots, you may have a much wider margin. There's another missed foul shot by the Panthers. Webster snatches the rebound and pops it over quickly to Bernie. <laughs> and the ball is stolen away on a quick move by Whit. Witt has it behind the three full line. He finds the man under the bucket. Nice, nice pick. Nice pick. Halfway expecting to take that three. Well, you know, in addition to his 22 point scoring average, he has uh, seven assists per game. That's good. I think we're going to have end up uh, in the 70s or 80s here in the second half if they keep finding them like they are here in the early goings. It keeps staying close with Macy, Macy a game like the girls game early this evening and going in overtime. That was a wor game worthy of talking about perhaps a moment later. Right now the Panthers find themselves down by two. Good ball movement and trying to take the shot and a whistle. The foul is going to go against Clayvon Ingram, his first of the game. That's actually the first time I saw, I've Ingram. seen Brendan uh, Haywood go, go strong to the, uh, to the basket this game. I think he needs to get a little bit more aggressive with that. Both big men uh, have not played, I don't believe, to their full potential this evening. Second shot by Shots Haywood. No good. Both of them are excellent athletes. Absolutely. I saw His second shot is no good. This time, Webster picks off the rebound. Move on the left side. A whistle before the shot. Foul. The foul will go against Jermaine Price. His second first of the second half. 21. Six minutes and 28 seconds remaining in the third. I'm Spencer Gwynn along with Chuck Daniels with the gym of Dudley High School, a packed house this evening. Sats on the back. Oh, he made a play that time, Sats. Webster made a statement. That was a crowd pleaser. Absolutely. The ball went out of bounds, last touch. It's Dudley ball. And Eagles. The largest lead of the evening, four points for Smith. At 39 to 35. Gets it down on the right side to Whit. Whit takes the jump and no good. Which cool off considerably. Back down the court, up against the glass, no good. Rebound by the Eagles, no good. Shot blocked that time by Hayward. Traveling. Good D that time. Absolutely. 
Jermaine Price will walk it down court for the Panthers. Carefully watched by Robbie Saunders. Quick tried to tuck it down low, couldn't do it, picks it up, fires it. That's the good. He is dangerous. His first bucket of the second half. 37, 39, the Eagles. Quick with 16 Bonding points in the game. For Bernie, into the fifth lineup. Thirty-seven, thirty-nine. The lead has been cut to two. And there's a steal by the Panthers. And who's on the front end of that break? This is Whit. He missed the layup, but he got the rebound and was fouled. So he'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul's on number eleven. The foul is on Robbie Sunder. That's his second. I think Quit found himself under the basket that time before he knew where he was. Yeah. Seems like he uh, went a little bit too far under that time. You're right. Okay, he'll have an opportunity for two. At the risk of being redundant, you've got to take advantage of this. Got to make those free throws. It's no good. Second shot coming. Second shot's coming up. I've got Whit down for two of five in the first half. From the free throw line. That was good. That was good. 38 to 39. Lob pass underneath. Left to good handle it. Cleared away by the Panthers. Nice move. And trying to shoot again was foul in the end. Whit tried to make a spin move in the lane. Foul oh, this time. Wood by T.J. Wood. Going back to the line with the Whit. So Whit will go back to the line with two more opportunities. An opportunity to tie the game and perhaps take the lead for his Panthers. That ties it at 39. Well, Spencer, we knew we were going to be in for a barn burner, a real tight game, and it's certainly living up to that building. I love it. That is also good. Three in a row from the free throw line now by Whip. Five minutes, third quarter. 19 points in the game. He's three points away from his game per game average. And we've still got a whole quarter and four minutes and 50 seconds to play. Smith will retain the possession under the basket. Robbie gets it into uh, Webster. He gives it back, and Webster couldn't control the basketball, so he lost it out of bounds. He was stop over by the bench and get a little rosin for his hands. <laughs> 40 to 39, the Panthers lead. Three point on the way, no good. Rebound, fought for, and a foul. foul this time. Robbie Saunders was fouled by Marcus Watson. I didn't notice if they uh, swept the floor at halftime, but I don't see as much slipping and sliding as we saw in the first half. Do you? Now they seem to be a little bit more stable, and I think, uh, I think Robbie Saunders is going to get a break. Just a little bit of rest. He'll take a look from the bench, and I'm sure Coach Peace will have him back in the game shortly. The Eagles are coached by Reggie Peace, and the Panthers by David Price. The Eagles lost it, and it was snapped out of bounds. Last touch by them, and the Panthers will put the ball in play. Marcus Watson will be the trigger man, and he'll pump it over to Jermaine Price. Right now, Smith is playing a man-to-man -man defense. And a tight one at that. Nice move, looking under the basket. Smith came up with the Eric pass. You know, Whit plays good defense also. He's a good, well-grounded athlete. Great basketball skill. Shots taken off the glass, no good. Rebound hey, called for by Webster Haywood, and Haywood came away with it. Good rebound that time by Haywood. 
That was a strong one. You mentioned earlier that he needed to be a little bit more aggressive. That time he showed it. Both men, big men, are beginning to exert themselves Got a bit more now. That ball was slapped out of bounds. They sure are. You're absolutely right. And that's what they needed to do, turn that game up a notch. Down on the left side, shots good. Three-pointer. Three-pointer. That was Jermaine Price. 43 39. The Panthers has gone, they've gone back on top, matching their big lead, biggest lead at four at 43 39. Webster has it on the outside. Ball nearly stolen, and it is. And Smith, it's a blitz, goes down for the layup. No, he's got that deceptive speed. He is. He doesn't seem like he's moving quickly, but all of a sudden, there he is. That last time down the court, it looked like he was, when he stole the ball, he was going about 10 miles an hour, and all of a sudden, he just exploded to the basket. Well, there's a timeout on the court with the score. The Panthers 45, the Eagles 39, with two minutes and 47 seconds remaining in the third. We'll return in a moment. It was a wise timeout that time, Spencer. I think uh, Dudley was getting ready to make a move. Yeah, they, they were beginning to up the tempo and controlling the game. They've got a chance now to go up by six, which would be the biggest lead by either team this evening. Looks like Dudley's settling into the game now. They seem to be a little more confident. That was a three-pointer thrown up by Whit. No good. Rebounded by Webster. The Panthers are still scrappy, fighting for the ball every inch of the way. A yeah, great effort by Jermaine Price. At number 12, Jamal Barney. What a ball handler he is. Nice move to the bucket by Sean Clark, but it's a whistle before the shot. Bernie really impressed me with his ball handling skills. He got out of a big jam last night. His third is Smith Ball. Okay, Marcus Watson picks up his third foul. And back in the right assist that time by Webster. Ingram has the hot hand for the Eagles here in the second, ha second half. He has man. six points in the second half, six in the first. He's got 12 for the game. And the lead has been cut to four, 45-41 Dudley. Dudley being a little patient. Something I thought That's they needed to do. Good. I thought the Dudley was rushing his shots for a while, but it seemed to be uh, acquiring some patience as the game goes on. I think that'll bode well in their favor. Absolutely. Robbie Saunders, no good. Watson. Coming up with the rebound was Marcus Watson. Nice pass by oh, Whip. Whip ball movement by the Panthers. Oh, if he had made that one, boy, that would have brought the crowd down. He's still under the bucket. No good. And a whistle. I think the Panthers smell blood. Can they deliver the crushing blow? Six more lead. And the Panthers the are slowly inching further and further ahead on the free throw line. Braxton Williams. You know, it's it's interesting that these two teams, with their respective ratings, that they played to this point just about like everybody had anticipated. Braxton Williams shot is up and no good. He was two or four from the free throw line in the first quarter, first half, and he's missed both, but who comes rebound out with the rebound? There's it Witt. It's a good rebound that time by Witt. Shots taken. Good by Derek Martin. His first oh, yeah. of the game. Smith's got to be careful here. Seven point lead, 58 seconds remaining in the, first, in the third quarter. 49, 41, Dudley. 
Robbie gets it under the basket, sets up, and it rolls off the rim. No good. Rebound it, and ah. Hammer is under the bucket. Whitman. Whit made the first one. BJ will go to the line. At the line, number 25 for the Eagles. Johnson shooting a pass. I think that's Whit's first foul. And when you got a player like that who can stay out of foul trouble, that's a real plus. That's a good. BJ's first foul. Even though he hit that foul shot, this Probably one of the widest margins in the game this far. 42-49. You can cut it to six. And he does not. Rebound Haywood. Haywood came up with the rebound. Long pass down court. Shots off the glass. No good. Ball slapped it's out of bounds ball. by the Panthers. 49-42-37. Joshua will pump it in. Third quarter. Bobby Saunders bringing the ball down, and Chucky resembles his old man, as they say. His dad used to play in the backcourt playing and tee, and uh, some of his mannerisms and movements are pretty much the same. Right now, Robbie is holding the ball, Chuck, and I think they're going to go for the last shot of the quarter. Looks like Dudley's falling back into his own. I think they're going to pretty much let him have it. Robbie drives the left side, and he has it rejected. And saved, um, almost saved, but there was a rejection under the bucket by Brendan Haywood. Haywood Brendan. Fifth ball, three seconds. Fifth their time showing a lot of patience. Three point shot. A three point shot at the bottom of the no good. And that is the end of the third quarter with the Panthers in the re having regained the lead at 49 to 42. We're coming into crunch time here, Spencer. Crunch time will come up in a moment. We'll be back. to resume the start of the fourth and final period. Dudley has the possession hour. As Price working against Saunders. Gets a little help now from Witt. Witt wants to take the shot, working hard for it. Got the pass off. Ball was snapped away. Jump ball. He made a nice pass to Braxton Williams, but Williams' pass, effort to, to the bucket was blocked. And the Eagles come up with the basketball. Clearly, 49 to 42. Down in the key, looking for somebody, couldn't find them. And a nice save by Ingram. And a nice bucket by Ingram. That's about number 34, Ingram. Like both teams are having trouble getting warmed up this point. Double teamed in the backcourt. He got it, got it away. As a man wide open under the bucket. He it. A That brought the crowd back alive. Well, I think the fans appreciated that one. Absolutely. That's uh, an in your face. Both big men now have been able to slam one under the bucket. And there's a nice guy that time. Taken by Sally Clark. Good workmanlike effort to get free for that bucket. I tell you, Robin Simons is all over him like a blanket. Under the bucket again, it goes to the big man on the turnaround, jump is good! Haywood again. 53-46. Going down low like that to the big man is going to force him to, force Smith to pay him some attention. That's going to open up the outside for Dudley a little bit. Dudley has dropped back into a 2-3 zone, Chuck. That's interesting. We haven't seen much in around the bucket. Shot good. That's the way to get Dudley out of there. 
Just making the mile come back. Shots up. Good. And the scoring is picking up. Braxton Williams is turning the favor. 55-49. The Panthers lead. Five minutes and 22 seconds remaining in this game. The premier teams in the Metro Forays. Under the bucket, he goes to the bucket. He the Haywood, and he brings the house down again with another slam. I think they might get one too, Spencer. I think uh, Reggie Peace needs to call a timeout, Chuck. Wait, T, baby, a T. 57-49. That put the fans in the crowd and a whistle under the bucket. I'm not sure what that's all about. Perhaps another foul. Number is double zero, Haywood. Foul is on Kristen Haywood, and that's his third. Five minutes and six seconds remaining in the contest. Which I think you're right. I think Coach Peace needs to take a time out here to settle this thing down for him. This thing gets out of hand. Shots up and good! A tough bucket. Foul number 21, got it. His third. That's his third. The shot by Ingram was good, and he's been hot in this half. Five field goals in this half, and he's on the line. And the line, Ingram, shooting one. 57-51. Coach Price decided to take his uh, big man out and talk with him for a little while, but I'm sure he'll be back in the game very shortly. Absolutely. Shots up. No good. The Panthers maintain a six-point lead at 57-51. Baxter Williams over to Parti. Smith is sticking with that man-to-man -man defense. Nice give and go. Shots up and good. One. But the good foul number 34. Ingram skips cut her one here and keep their composure. They're not out of this by a long shot. Not by a long shot. As they say, it ain't over till it's over. 59-51, but the Panthers are working hard at it. Almost have the three. Rebound Ingram for Smith. 59-51. Bobby Saunders. Suddenly we'll using a little, little man to man and stole the ball away. Saunders got it right back. Nice pass. Good ball movement by the Eagles. But the foul under the bucket. He's a run horse underneath here. Hey, he has been very, very impressive. Foul That's number four, Monty, his center. That's Partee picking up his second personal, but that's going to put At the line, Ingram, like Ingram on the line. Two times, two shots. He's already 0 for 2 from the free throw line in the second half. First shot's good. That one is good. Close the gap to 7 and now to 6. 53, 59, 4, 17, 4, 4. 2 of 4 from the line. 10 field goals in this half. 5 field goals, 10 points in this half. Gets them 18 for the game. A steal by the Eagles. A long pass down court. And guess who? Ingram. Play Bond Ingram. It's the first time Dudley's had a problem with that question. The lead is back down to four. Three minutes and 51 seconds. Smith recognized the urgency of applying the pressure. Under the bucket goes Whit, and Whit was blocked out of bounds by Webster. Webster picks up his third. Back into the game, double zero, Hayward. Last two times down, it had a had a little hesitancy with that press. Wood back in the game. Smith's got to turn on the pressure. They've got to apply it now. Like you said earlier. Left out. All right. 
Smith has got to really up the tempo on defense. They had the one and one, and again, uh, Whit missed the free throw. Yeah, they've got to let it all hang out now. They can't leave back. What he missed from the line, he certainly has a way of making it up somewhere else. Smith has got the lead to see if they can hang the field goal, and it's good! What a game. 14-16 points for Ingram here in the second half, and there's a timeout on the court. Reminds me of Weatherspoon. Ingram reminds me of Weatherspoon of the Philadelphia 76ers. He is absolutely phenomenal. He has just taken over for the Smith Eagles here in the second half, and he has uh, basically all the points. The only other people that scored in the second half, Webster has one field goal in the second half, Sean Clark won, along with uh, Jamal Bernie, and everything else is gone by the way of Clayvon Ingram. We'll return in a moment for the final 319 of this game. Ingram has basically put the Smith team on his shoulders and decided to carry him home. A 16-point second half, an explosion by Clavon Ingram. You know, it's, uh, it, it's kind of reversed itself. The first half, uh, Smith had more team scoring and uh, the burden of scoring was up by two men for the Panthers, and now the Panthers have more team scoring, and it's uh, the burden of scoring for the Eagles has dropped on Clavon Ingram, and boy, is he handling handling it extremely well. You're absolutely right. He stepped up to the bar and taking on the opportunity quite nicely. Panthers break the press, got it across the timeline very nicely. Almost stolen, and what a move. That's no good. And there is the big man. Oh, that was one for a highlight. Marcus Watson. Watson to the floor. Uh, he'll be I hitting thought... the rewind button on the VCR tonight. Yes, he will. I thought that was uh, Haywood, but it was Marcus. Shots rejected under the bucket. Snapped away. The Panthers have him. They got it, brother. Oh, hey, what a move by. Oh, what an assist that time by Rick. Who's house? Dudley house. 63-57. And the Dudley crowd is on its feet. I tell you, he'll be talking about this shot this summer on the playground. I tell you, that was a, that was some assist too. <laughs> Dudley. Don't have his grandkids on his knee telling him about that shot. <laughs> There's a timeout on the court. This one is charged to the Panthers of Dudley High School, and they lead 63-57 with 2 minutes and 28 seconds remaining. Smith will put the ball in play from side court. Robbie Saunders. The Eagles trailing 63-57. No Spencer to tell them, Tate may very well read a more balanced attack. Pulls his Dudley team out of the slope. Quick with the rebound. Quick comes up with a rebound. He has seven rebounds a game, average wise. Seems like they were depending on Whit to carry the load in the first half. Second half to spread the wealth and find him much success. He got to do it. Closely guarded. Quick now has the basketball. Everybody waits in eager anticipation. He makes a move towards the basket. Had it snapped away by Robbie, but great effort on the part of Whit as he rolls around on the floor with the basketball, and they will call that time every time. Which has got to be careful there. He's going to get a The Smith team refuses to, to, to lay over and duck. Great tenacity. They keep well coming back speed. and coming back and coming back. Shots up, no good. We found it by nothing. So this Dudley crowd was happy to finally see um, Ingram miss one. Watson on the rebound. Three-pointer on the way, no good. And the rebound again by the Panthers. Shots up, no good. Rebounded again by the Panthers. The shots up, and there's an offensive foul. Call on the Panthers, Derek Partee. Offensive foul, Derek! 
and that was against the whole boy. <laughs> Lovely house. A minute and 10 seconds and we'll keep our eye on the clock. Seven seconds. Still plenty of time. The Eagles are very calm as they work the ball towards the bucket. Down low it goes. The big man wheels and deals. Mr. Ingram, 18 points for Ingram in this, in this uh, second half. I'm sure he's going to sleep late tomorrow. Four-point lead, 44 seconds remaining. Some of the Smith crowd is beginning to foul out, but I can assure you the Panthers have gone nowhere. And there's a violation, and the Eagles have the basketball, trailing by four. 36 seconds. Singing, it ain't over yet. It ain't over till it's over. Back under the it goes, shots up. Oh! Well, he, he was had to turn, but he was fouled. Everybody and I tell you, when he get when he gets the ball down low in the paint like that, something is gonna happen. Tell and he is just number four party. It reminds me of Charles Burke. No fear. Well, I'll tell you what, boy, the uh, Whit got the eight today. But uh, let's Tyson it, Williams back in the ball game. This fellow has played a tremendous game tonight. That's played by the Eagles. Some of the folks starting to foul out the gym, but it's certainly not over with. Substitution. 59-63. 28 seconds Ooh, later. Wow. On the line is Clavon Ingram. He's two of four from the free throw line in the second half. Two of four from the free throw line, actually, in the ball game. They desperately need every point they can. 28 seconds remaining. The first one is no good. A big miss. Hey, fellas, got to take his time at the line. They need this one. He can cut it to three. If he can cut it to three, it's a one-possession game, provided right, the fact that they can come down the floor and hold Dudley Strollers right. on the next uh, possession for them. Right, you are. If he makes it. If he doesn't, it's still a uh, two possession. He makes it. Eagles putting pressure it's on the down court, and that one was slapped out of bounds by Robbie Saunders, and it's still the Panthers so the ball. Twenty-seven seconds. This is where the coaches start to lose their hair. Both coaches. Panthers get it in. Bringing it down will be Parquet. They break the press. And they'll just try to kill some time on the clock. And the Eagles will have to foul. Okay, Dunn has done a good job of keeping it away. And Ingram had to almost charge him in order to get the foul. And the, the thing I liked about that sequence, uh, Chuck, was the fact that the Panthers moved the ball so well that they really had to hustle the foul of it. And they were trying to foul the Panthers. Exactly right. A three-point lead enjoyed by Dudley, and they'll have an opportunity from the line with Derek Marti. Marti has one for two from the free throw line, and he has four points, five points in the game. It's so sad That makes it a two-possession, and there's a timeout called by the Panthers. 14 64, seconds 60, remaining. 14 seconds left. No matter what the outcome of this game is, both of these teams, teams winner and a loser, can be proud. They both played a good game. This has been an excellent game. As I pointed out earlier, Chuck, it's the kind of game that you would expect from a ranked team. 64-60 with the number one team in the state on top. The free throw is missed. Rebounded by Webster. The Eagles have 10 seconds. They've got to get it down quickly and score and get another possession. There's a shot. It's up. No good. Rebounded by Dudley. And Hood is under the basket by himself. And he fouled. And that's the end of the ball game as the fans take over the floor. And I'm not sure they'll let him shoot the free throw. But the game is over. And an exciting game it was.
64 to 60 is the final score here at Dudley High School with the Panthers emerging victoriously. And once again, Chuck, it comes right down to these three and four point games that these teams seem to have a knack of playing each other. And this it's been happening time after time. This is one this year. Tonight it was Dudley's turn. Let me ask you something, Spencer. Think we'll be seeing these two teams meet in state tournament. I suspect we'll see a beat at least perhaps at least one more time and perhaps twice. I don't I think they've got another regular season game for it at uh, probably at Smith High School. And then of course you know they're gonna see each other in the state playoff if the you know depending on where the uh, what bracket there is. But I tell you, uh, that was that clean Clayvon Ingram had an outstanding second half. He had eight field goals for 16 points and three of six from the free throw line for 19, a 19 point second half for Clayvon Ingram for Smith High School to go to six and he has 25 points for the game. And like you said, he, he, he in essence put the Smith team on his shoulders and tried to carry them home. And I'll tell you something, Spencer, you almost did it. Well, Britt uh, kind of cooled off a little bit after the first half. He carried the team in the first half. He had 14 points. And in the second half, he came back and uh, only scored two field goals and three out of five from the line. And I think, I think that was a key to their attack. They diversified a little bit, took some of the pressure off the of wit, spread the wealth, and they got the job done. Well, you know, he, he does a lot of things with the basketball. He's averaging, I think, seven, uh, he was averaging three steals, seven assists, 22 points, and six rebounds per game. And I don't believe he hurt any of those stats. Uh, according to my unofficial count, he has 21 points on the evening, but that's just one point short of uh, his uh, of his 22-point average. I'm sure Dean Smith won't want to let this man get out of the state. Well, I tell you what, uh, whether it's Dean Smith or Coach Roy Thomas at North Carolina A&T, whoever gets this young man will have a very outstanding basketball player. Absolutely. He's got to hit those books. Well, once again, uh, Chuck, it's been an outstanding game with two fine teams, and uh, certainly the stars of this evening's game would have to be Vincent Witt and uh, William Braxton, and they had a very fine supporting cast from the rest of the team, and uh, Brendan Haywood certainly uh, had two big baskets that brought the crowd to his feet and got them back in the game. Up until that point, uh, the uh, Eagles have been pretty much able to take the crowd out of the game, and that's what they had to do because Dudley had everything going for them. And with those two big stuffs by uh, Haywood, it put the crowd back in the game, and the Panthers seemed to rally around that and uh, was able to hang on for a four-point victory. Well, Spencer, as we both agree, the key to this game would be the big man coming alive, and certainly that young man from uh, the uh, Dudley team, Brendan Haywood, brought the crowd to his feet, and got the job done underneath. Well, Chuck, that just about wraps it up here at uh, Dudley High School uh, Gymnasium where more than 1,500 people were on hand tonight in a packed gym, and it's so good to see high school basketball being revived in this fashion in this city. It's been a real pleasure doing the game this evening and another pleasure working with you. Absolutely, Spencer. I thank you for the opportunity. It's been fun. The final score, Dudley 64, the Eagles 60. I'm Spencer Gwynn for Chuck Daniels. We bid you one and all a very pleasant good evening. <laughs>